Hello guys and welcome to the second part of our Network Attach project. Today we are going to see the software part of it, discovering which operating system we are going to use, how to configure it and how to get the best out of it, basically. So, how you may imagine, we are going to use an open source operating system to transform our Udo into a network attached storage and this is Open Media Vault, which is uh, really really a killer piece of software it is a web-based uh, um, network attached storage solution it comes with tons tons of features uh, built in it is lightweight it works well is pretty stable and uh, it uh, can be configured uh, in every way you want uh, and uh, you can expand uh, it functionalities uh, via some uh, plugins you will find uh, open media vault uh, for you do in the forum where um, there is a specifically built uh, open media vault distribution packed for you do and uh, you can download from it. We are downloading uh, now the quad version of uh, Open Media Vault because we are using uh, a quad version, but uh, it will be av available also a dual version. So, once you have downloaded it, you can uh, flash it uh, to your SD card as, uh, as we've shown in previous uh, tutorials. Once the flashing procedure has finished, you can then remove your SD card and insert it into Udo. Then check all the wirings, connect via Ethernet port to your home network, then give power and boot it up. Once booted, then just search your Udo ZP address we made a specific tutorial for that and to assess open media vault control panel just type you do zp address into your browser you'll then be prompted with the open media vault login page you can uh, then select your your desired language and insert the default uh, open media vault Credentials which are admin as username and open media vault as password. Hit the login button and you're in. Okay. We can have uh, an overview of the active process that are running right now. We have just SSH because we want to assess it remotely. And then we have a tons of uh, features we can select. This version of Open Media Vault comes uh, with a lot of plugins pre-installed um, which are very useful for what we want to do. The first step is always install a, our physical disk. As you can see, we have our two terabytes disk being recognized here. The first step is wiping it. We select a quick wipe. Okay, it's done. We can also edit its settings. We have power management, which uh, will uh, make our NAS more eco-friendly. Then uh, automatic acoustic management, uh, which spins down the hard drive in order to minimize noise produced from it. And also a spin down time, which turns uh, the hard disk off uh, when it's not used. We are just uh, enabling uh, smart monitoring, which is useful for knowing the health of our hard drive. Okay, then we create a file system 
on our drive as you can see now we only have the sd card which we cannot use uh, as uh, a storing uh, okay we select our device our drive and we format it with xt4 file system now you see it is formatting it basically our drive is now getting prepared to host all our files uh, we just wait a little okay once we see the status is online this means that our disk is ready now we mount it after some time we should see that our drive is mounted you can see we have also an indication of the available disk space that we can use okay now the first step is enabling Samba. Samba is a common uh, file transfer protocol used uh, for Windows, uh, Macintosh and on Linux and we enable this then we add some shared folder shared folder are the folders we will see through our networks for convenience, uh, I suggest you to just name them after what you have uh, to put inside and so to create as much as you need. Maybe creating only one will result in a, in a bit messy <laughs> network attached storage. So for the first name, we use files, which is a generic container of files. Then a proper shared folder placed on our drive now we set the permissions you can set as you want this uh, will um, allow some users to assess the file or restrict other users to assess the file to be comfortable we just set it to everyone can read and write our files on this folder done then we set it to public so no password has to be entered then we enable extended attribute support and uh, DOS attribute support hitting on ok we'll create our share we can repeat the same steps to create as much folders as we want now we can see if our Samba service is active remember to check if a, a service you activated is being properly initialized we see that Samba is on and the service is running so to see it our brand new network our drive we go on network and this magically appears here we have uh, open media vault we just click on it and we have our two brand new folders files and videos which we created before we can now copy every file we want into it. Through our network. Okay, now let's see some advanced setup. For example, if you want a DLNA capability, DLNA is a protocol which allows you to browse uh, your videos, your images, your music through your network, for example um, from your smart TV, from your smartphone, from your computer so it is very useful, we just enable it 
and we must add the folders we want to to see we can also set uh, a new folders if but for example if you want to share videos we hit videos and okay then when we want to say our progress DNA tells us that it is going to scan our folders searching for media files to serve and we see that mini DNA is enabled and running now let's activate BitTorrent BitTorrent is a famous sharing protocol automatically we just add them and it's gonna download them so let's activate it before enabling our torrent we just want to create a new Samba folder called torrent so we set this folder we just set it exactly like we did before with the other folders and we are good to go now we can safely activate the BitTorrent plugin we have all the protocols that our torrent server can handle and various options usually to connect to our torrent we should input the username and the password which here are the same as we used to log in into the user interface of open media vault now for convenience we can disable it and here we find a very useful feature of transmission BitTorrent. We can run a script when a torrent is completed. And we are going to see later why this feature is going to be really useful for us. Okay, now we activate it. And we configure it. We are going to use uh, the previously created uh, torrent folder as our shared folder we then uh, enable the incomplete directory and the watch directory the watch directory enables you to copy a torrent file on it and the download will start immediately we click on OK to save our preferences And you can also give a look to the other configuration you can apply to our BitTorrent client like for example the connection speed or the turtle mode the turtle mode is a, a slower mode you can enable on some pre-configured time schedules okay now we see if the BitTorrent service is up and running if uh, we set up it properly, we should see it up and running. We have two ways of controls our torrent. One is directly from the Open Media Vault uh, user interface, but this can be, well, not so much comfort. And then we can uh, use uh, Transmission Remote which is an handy application that we install on Windows and that can enable us to control our torrent downloads this is it we configure it 
to connect our NAS. We just input the same EP we discovered before and we hit OK. So, let's start a torrent. The best point to start is obviously a UDO related download. For example, we can uh, download the torrent of Linaro Ubuntu, which is also available on torrent. We copy the link address And transmission remote is going to instantly recognize that this is a torrent. So we hit OK and the download will start. Of course, we will be able to see every file through Samba, as it was on our drive directly connected to our computer. Open Media Vault is a great piece of software. Bind to you do is going to offer you a killer network attached storage built in do it yourself way, which can really, really change the way you use your media. But built in, you can find also other features such as NFS, which is an alternative to Samba. Some people prefer this to Samba, we just show you how to enable both. Then uh, we have a built-in antivirus if you want to stay on the safe side. Then we can find the Apple filing protocol, a handy auto shutdown plugin which uh, shuts down uh, our network attached storage uh, into a predefined uh, schedule. We can also set up a virtual private network or use it as a DHCP server. Again, I really suggest you to donate to the creator of Open Media Vault because not only is a great, great piece of software, but also is free and open source. So it is important to support open source developers. For the software part, this is it, but uh, our project uh, go on and uh, the next part of our project will cover the real funny part of it. So, see you soon.